it's time for another tutorial to start with that building tutorial here we are in the creative test world today we are going to be building a very simple starter house now this doesn't take up too many resources it's very resource friendly and everything that you see is pretty much easily obtainable in survival but my name is graffiti z and with that being said let's get straight into it and this is how the starter house looks like you don't have to use lanterns for lighting you can also use torches but i just put lanterns there because they look better and you can also hang them off of a slab or walls and that's why that's there but everything in this building is pretty much resource friendly and we'll be getting on to that in a moment so the first thing you need is a 13 long and 7 wide area once you've got that done the next thing you will want to do is get yourself this amount of blocks so you'll need at least 25 spruce log you'll need a stack and a half of spruce planks a stack of spruce stairs at the least you'll need a stack of spruce slabs as well you'll also need an extra few bits of spruce logs for the fences and stuff if you want to do the details then you need a couple bits of stripped oak log and oak planks for the walls and of course cobblestone and cobblestone stairs these are the majority of resources that you will need the rest will be all from the details that i will be talking about later but let's go ahead and start building this thing first thing you want to do once you've got your area is make a cobblestone outline around the entire thing it needs to be on the exact edge of the entire place that you're planning on building this thing and it should look something like this now after that's done punch out each of the corners and then add in a spruce log on either corner of the building so this is your foundation now the next thing you can do is fill in your floor so that you don't have to do it later and i am going to be using spruce with stripped oak and it looks really good you can of course use whichever one that you feel fits you don't have to use the exact same one that i am using right now so now that that's done the next step that you want to do is make the pillars now the pillars have to be four blocks up on each of the corners you want to go one two three and four and do this on all four corners once you've got the pillars in it should look something like this now the next thing you want to do is go in the exact center punch out this block towards the back and make your final pillar that is exactly the same height as the other few now you should be having a total of five pillars and those are your 25 logs of spruce wood all used and finished so now it's time for the walls now what you want to do is get your oak planks and stripped oak logs remember that we are going to be punching out some of the blocks for the windows and also for the door so just keep that in mind while we do this now while placing in the wall keep in mind that we do need some texture so what i like to do is i randomize my blocks now if you're having a really hard time getting stripped oak logs then all you have to do is just use planks instead and it'll still look just as good so once you're done with the walls it should look like this so now the next thing you want to do is go ahead and punch out two blocks in the center to make room for your door now for the front windows go two blocks on either side of the door and just punch them out you want to go to the back and do the same thing and it should look something like this now we are going to be working on the side windows in a moment but it's better to do the roof first and then do the side windows because that way it'll be way easier right so the next thing that we're going to be working on is the outline of the roof now this is the most important thing because well you have to pay attention to this because it's the thing that's going to give shape to this building and there are a lot of intricate patterns involved so that's why you guys have to be really prepared and pay attention so to start things off you want to go ahead and place a normal staircase block right on top of the spruce then you want to place in a upside down staircase right next to it and just repeat the pattern all the way to the end and once you've done that it should look like this the next thing you want to do is get your cobblestone slab and place it on either side of the staircase pattern that you just made once that's done it should look something like this now all you have to do is just copy the same design over 
to the other side before we continue guys hope you all are enjoying the video so far if you are then do make sure to leave a like and a sub to the channel would be fantastic so once you're done it should look something like this so the next thing we want to do is actually start work on the roof itself so the first thing you want to do is take your cobblestone stairs out and then just go one block out like this then you want to place an upside down staircase a block on top a stair again upside down staircase block and continue on like so now this building isn't particularly tall so you should only have to do it twice and once you've done it twice you should start doing it on the other side as well and once that's done it should look something like this so the next thing you want to do is place in an upside down staircase facing this direction then come on top here place a staircase on top put a slab here and a slab there get rid of this slab and it should look something like this so that is the shape of your roof now all you have to do is do it on the other side and we can start work on actually filling in the roof so once that is done it should look something like this now the next thing we are going to do is actually work on the cobblestone band in the middle of this building so first off you're gonna have to take out this staircase and place a block of cobblestone there you're gonna have to do the same for the other side so this is where things get tricky unlike this shape we are going to have to do a completely different pattern so the first thing you want to do is place a stair on either side like so then place a block in front of it after that's done we should place a stair on top of the same block then we need to go one up on either side bring it in by one as well then place a stair on top of this cobblestone block and also this one then just repeat what you did earlier and it should look something like this now once this is done you can go ahead and place a block of cobblestone right there and once that's done you want to start off by connecting that to this using some slabs so there you have the framework for the roof now the next thing you want to do is actually fill in the walls completely so while filling in the wall for these two sides make sure that you don't actually leave too much space because then it will not look good make sure you fill in every single block and make sure it looks like this so once that is done you should be left with one block two blocks and then one block again that's how you know that you've done it correctly so now we can start work on the roof the first thing you want to do is place in all the blocks like you did earlier you want to place in the stairs upside down staircase block on top stair again you get the idea so once that's done it should look something like this now we're gonna start work on texturing the roof and making it look much better now there isn't a certain you know step-by-step -step procedure for this so what I like to do is I like to place in the planks first and also some slabs now this will add some variation to it and you just need to continue this all along you can also add in staircases to add a bit more depth in place of the planks that you've placed in already and it should look good now that our roof is looking textured the next thing that we need to do is start work on the details now there is a lot of things that we have to do the first of which is fill in the windows but if you want to do even more detailing you can but it depends on the amount of resources you have so just keep that in mind but with that being said what you want to do is get yourself some glass then the next thing you want to do is punch out two windows on either side that are four blocks long and one block wide once that's done go ahead grab your glass panes and then place them in here like so next grab your door and place it in from the inside so that you can have some more depth like so now it is time for the finer details now the next step you want to do is place in a cobblestone stair diagonal to the window on the outer side you want to place in a cobblestone wall right over here one block beside it then go ahead and place in a spruce fence gate above both windows 
and then fill in the middle bit and it should make an arch like that now you want to do this exact same steps to the back side of your building and it should look pretty cool now you can see that this thing is coming together another thing you can do for details is place in some cobblestone walls to hold up your lanterns or torches now for the final few details now what you can do to make your build look even better is add some grass patches and some trap doors around it to make this little flower planting area as you can see over here the cobblestone walls also have lanterns on top now and that makes it look good and also it lights up the area now you don't have to use lanterns you can also use torches but in case you're planning on using lanterns please do try to get yourself some chains and then hang them from the slab that is above there so that it looks like this you can also have an iron bar on top of the wall that is going in the middle so that it looks good you can also use trap doors to make the shutters for the window and finally you can also hang lanterns from the cobblestone walls at the front and back of the house now i haven't done the interior for this building and that is on purpose if you guys are interested in doing the interior do let me know i'll definitely make a video on it but yeah guys this is how you build the starter house and it is quite a beautiful thing but yeah guys if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and if you really loved it make sure to subscribe consider supporting the channel on patreon and with that being said guys this has been me graffiti thank you so much for watching i'll catch you in the next one see ya